Hi, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Amy, and I'm a cruelty-free makeup enthusiast. I love all sorts of things like books, dark academia, light academia, cottage core, all that kind of stuff. So I will be uploading some newer content very soon, especially that it is now fall. But before we get into my get ready with me, which I do this look right here, I wanted to let you know about my giant giveaway that I am doing. It includes the palette that I used to do this look today. It's the Clarity Cosmetics So Amazing palette, which looks like this. It is gorgeous. And I have this, I have stuff from Liss, ABH, a ton of brands. I'll insert a picture. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel here, like and comment on this video, and then go follow me over at Compassionate Chic on Instagram. But you just have to be subscribed here, follow me on Instagram, and then comment and like on this video. It's not affiliated with anyone. All these products were either purchased with my own money or I got in a subscription box, those kind of things. So without further ado, let's get started on this Get Ready With Me. first I'm gonna go in with my elf mint melt cooling face primer this is something that I've had in my shop my stash and it's very sticky it is like a gripping primer too so you kind of like have to just rub it into the skin because I find that if I try to like do this it'll just make my foundation pill but it does feel very nice and it smells very good, but I wouldn't repurchase something like this. I think I might have talked about this earlier, but those are kind of my feelings on it. Where do I start today? Oh my goodness. So we're finally having fall-ish weather here in New England, which I'm so excited about. I'm going to go into my 100% Pure. This is my Bamboo Blur Foundation, also in my Shop My Stash. So we're finally having fall weather, which I am ecstatic about because it has been really hot, like unseasonably hot this late into September. We were having almost up to 90 degree days and it was not my favorite. I was sweating. It was so difficult for me to film, which is why I haven't really been posting many videos because it gets so hot in this room and if I turn on my studio lights, forget it, I am just miserable. But how are you guys doing? Sound off below. Some of you have been so kind to keep up with my videos while well, this summer I haven't made too much content, again, just because it's been sweltering in here, but also because I don't have central AC. I have AC in the wall downstairs, but here we have it in the window in our bedroom. So even if it's on and running, like you can't, the air doesn't circulate all the way over here, unfortunately. And if I turn a fan on, then it just gets too loud. All right, that is looking oh, very nice. I've never spoken candidly about this foundation on my channel, but I very much like this. It gives you that nice, like, satiny kind of look to the skin. I think it comes off on camera very well too. So for my concealer, I'm gonna go into my Cloven Hollow. This is their, what is this called? Conceal and Define maybe? I can't remember, but this is a really good concealer. So it's just been really hot. I've also been really busy with work. What else is new? I feel like I've kind of told you all a lot about that. Maybe one of the last check-ins that I did too was that my company was being sold the sale happened, I kept my job through it all. If anything, I have even more responsibilities. We're still kind of hybridly working remote, so I'm somewhat half at home and then I'm half in the office. It's a lot of work. Um, there are some days where I put in almost 60 hours a week. I know, it's a lot. I'm very, very tired, so. Hopefully this all, you know, pays off in the end when everyone's fully trained and stuff. But it was a, it was really stressful there for a while. I was very concerned that I may not have a job because of the sale, you know, who knows if another company comes in and buys us out, maybe they would want to hire all different people. But thankfully, our business is very niche. Um, I'm in a certain level of finance that is very, very niche. And I am lucky that I know so much in my in my profession that 
they knew owners defer to me for a lot of things, which is really good. So they trust me. They're like, you know what? We know what you're doing and we, you know, respect you to make that right decision. So it's been very, very nice. For powder, I'm going to do the 100% pure powders going everywhere. Bamboo blur powder. This is a really nice blurring powder too, in case if you have texture and pores, oily skin. It's very nice. So yeah, I've just been doing that. Chris and I have been doing a lot to the house. We have all new floors, which is super exciting. We finally finished this background here. So we have all my stuff you can't see. I've got my little pumpkin spice, my setup right here. So it's a much, much nicer display going on. Very happy with how it's turned out. So you're not looking at a blank wall anymore, which is very nice. I want to do this for you guys for so long and for myself. If you want to see kind of like an outlook of the room, you can check out my previous video, which I think was my shop Miss stash. Maybe it's two videos ago. And at the beginning, I do kind of like a really quick walkthrough and you can see everything. And I'm very, very proud of how it turned out. I had taken out my uh, bronzer and highlighter that I'd hit pan on. I was trying to just like really, really get through these because they are just lasting forever. This is a Physician's Formula bronzer that I hit pan on two years ago and I still haven't finished it because I keep using other products in the mix. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do a shot my stash. I'm gonna focus on this bronzer and hopefully we can finish it within the next month or so. I'm really, really hoping I may lay down a transition shade on my eye too using this bronzer just to get more use out of it. But yeah, that's been work. I, I did take a little bit of a vacation. I had a very short, just a couple of days for a trip with some friends. We rented an Airbnb in Vermont and it was a gorgeous house. We're talking about this house is like at least over a million dollars. It's beautiful. It was on a hill. It was private. We had the whole house to ourselves and a few friends. But the problem was, it's in the dog days of August. There's no AC. A luxury house in Vermont and there's no AC. And you know, I'm sure that it's mostly used during the ski season because it's up in the Stowe area. So that's like really, really popular for a lot of, um, skiing and ski resorts and stuff. I was shocked. I was sweating the entire time. I almost couldn't enjoy my little getaway because I was so miserable the whole time. It's very disappointing. Very, very disappointing, I have to say. But there was one day that we got to go to this. It was like a falls type thing and there was a river and stuff and the water was maybe in the high 50s, low 60s. It felt so refreshing. I dunked myself in the whole thing. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. We got to go with our friends and their kids and stuff. And so, you know, we got to have like a little bit of a break from work. I was completely signed off and I needed that break. The only problem was I sweat the entire time. So for blushes, I'm gonna go into the bomb. This is the Girls Getaway Trio. I actually picked this up earlier this summer because I've heard really good things about the Bomb Beach. That's the center shade here. I love this palette. I've been using it nonstop. They have such a good blush formula. It's sad no one really talks about the bomb anymore, but I really, really like it. So I'm gonna use this lighter shade in the center. Just keep that on. Did you guys have any like vacations or trips planned? We are going to Nashville very soon. My husband and I, my best friend lives there. And so we're going to go visit her. I'm super excited about it. I've never been. I can't wait to go to the main downtown area and listen to all the karaoke and stuff. It's going to be a really, really good time. Now for some highlight, I'm going to go into my balm right here. This is the Mary Lou Manizer. This I hit pan on years ago as well, and it's still going strong. So I put it in my shop, my stash. Yes, meow. Do you guys hear Dahlia? She wants all the attention. She's so big, guys. I can't believe how grown Dahlia's gotten. She's now a full-grown girl. She's a year old now. I'm like, oh, my little baby. Remember in the videos? If you've been here for a while, you've seen in the videos, a little baby holding her, and now she's just a, a big girl. Mm. That's crazy. She is just the funniest, most vocal cat I've ever had. She definitely entertains us 
it makes life interesting and uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. She's been a great addition to the family and her and Mittens now are like buddies. It's the cutest thing in the world. They're always hanging out together and sometimes they'll like walk next to one another and give each other little licks. I'm so happy that Mittens has a friend because two years ago my sweet dear Lily girl she passed away and that was so hard on all of us. You know my husband and I and of course my of course Mittens and it's just really nice that he has like a friend to hang out with and play. Okay so I actually think I finished up oh no there's a little bit left. There's just a tiny bit left of this NYX micro brow pencil. NYX brow pencils are really good if you ever need a dupe for ABH. I think this is really nice and it's a lot cheaper. I've actually been doing a lot less stuff with my eyebrows lately. I've been obsessed with brow gels this summer, especially because again, it's been so hot, like hotter than normal. Like global warming is so real. I don't know how anyone can deny it because it is just so warm. And so I haven't been wearing much foundation, like anything that's heavy, I just can't do it because it just melts right off. So I am going to show you my favorite brow gel right now. I think I reviewed this earlier this year. This is the Kosas Air Brow. I have it in the shade Medium Brown and I absolutely love it. It just gives that extra oomph and if you want some extra color it gives you that too. Oh, I completely forgot to tell you too, when we were in Vermont, we saw a youthful black bear. So it wasn't necessarily a baby. We had been out for the day. We went to Burlington, which is the cutest little city ever. And we came back, we parked down, and we were walking up the hill back to the house. And my husband, Chris, goes, bear! And I see it, I'm like, huh? And I run into the house, and it was just so cute. He was wandering around. He knew we were there. And every time he thought we went away, he just kind of like, popped his little snoot out to see because he wanted to get the food in the garbage can. So it was really, really cute. And I love little bears. I think they are precious, especially black bears because they're pretty harmless. They're more afraid of us than we are of them. Um, but anyway, it was super cute. We didn't want to get in the way at all because if mama bear was around, we'd probably be in a lot of trouble. I have brought you guys in a little bit closer just so you can see what I'm doing with my eyes because we've reached the main event of the video. We're using the Clarity Cosmetics So Mesmerizing Palette. This is just the cutest thing ever. I meant to do a whole video of this back earlier this summer. I just never got to doing it because of everything that was going on, but this palette is just so much fun and I got one for you guys too in the giveaway, which you heard about earlier in this video. So I'm just gonna play with all these fun colors. These are really, really unexpected because the mattes are a little bit lighter than I thought they would be. And then their shimmers are like really, really metallic -y shimmer, but they're very crumbly. So I have to be very careful when using them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a color blocking type look. And I wanna start off with the See You Later. I think I'm gonna do these and then like the green and the blue. I think that'll be fun. I really do think that Clarity's formula is really nice. I discovered this company last year and I bought two of their palettes. I had their peach palette. I think it was, it wasn't called Sweet Peach. Maybe it was called Sweet Peach. The peach palette I have. And then I got their chocolate one that's sadly been discontinued, but I depotted that one and that's in my neutral palette of depotted shades. And I have been using it every now and then. It's just a really nice, smooth, pigmented vegan formula from a black owned brand, cruelty free of course. So I love supporting indie brands because while I love getting stuff that's very accessible too, it's just fun to try different things because indie brands are always putting out really new and innovative formulas and products. And that's what I really enjoy about this brand too. They always have really cool color stories. Everything's well thought out and it's a one woman shop too. And um, yeah, I just, I think they're, they're really good with customer service too. I remember when I first got this, one of my shades, I think it was called, I'll have a, martini maybe it was that one it came broken and I was originally just gonna fix it I was gonna try to repress it and I posted about something on my my stories on Instagram and they're like no no take it down we'll just send you a new one I'm like okay so they were very nice very speedy I got the new shade like right away so they're a super super cool company um and I know that they had like a really hard time I think earlier this year 
I think a car drove through like their business area, like their actual office, which is just nuts. But they were able to rebuild everything and thank goodness they were safe. Next, I'm gonna go into, I'll have a Martini. Love these little mermaid puns, which is this more kind of greenish shade. Oh, and there goes some of the sun. It just got really dark all of a sudden. I think the sun kind of like went around my house and I'm like, oh, I just lost the light and now it's coming back. So hopefully the lighting isn't all over the place with this video. I'm really trying to get the lighting to be better. It kind of, it's been really difficult the last few videos. I'm very surprised with how like off the coloring has been and like colors have gone on and off. So it's just been really difficult. Um, and now I'm gonna be losing even more natural light which I don't have much to begin with in my house. There's only one window in this room <laughs> and I only get sunlight like in the middle of the day and that's it. So if I'm working or something, forget it. Like I cannot film, you know, while I'm working or at the office kind of thing. So that's just been a struggle that I've been facing as well. Next, I'm gonna go into You Mermaid My Day, which is this more sea foamy blue right here. I am just so excited for fall though. I know that's such like a typical girl thing. Maybe not even typical though. Like let people enjoy what they enjoy. I like to say it's completely harmless. Fall is just fun. I just really don't like sweating. I like, you know, feeling comfortable and not feeling overheated. Fall is just my favorite time of year and I can't wait. I've already put up a bunch of decorations. I've got sunflowers everywhere. It's just so fun. I've got a happy fall y'all little sign behind me and I've got my little, <laughs> I think you might have seen this. This is my little stuffed pumpkin spice. It's so cute. I even have a little Plague Doctor one too. They're adorable for Halloween. So we cannot ignore the shimmers in here. These are really, really pretty, but you have to be very, very careful because there will be fallout. So I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny brush. Let me find a bit more of, this one's good. This one's that Lunar Beauty kind of smaller detail brush. And it's interesting because there's a lot of different undertones to these metallics. While you think this one might be more pink, this one might be more yellow. Like this is yellow, but it has pink undertone. Like there's reflex of pink in there. And so you have to be a little careful. I really do love Beach Please. This one is green, but it has a little bit of kind of like purple and blue in there. So I'm gonna take a bit of that one. And I'm, I'm gonna kick off excess because I do not want this to fall all over my face. So see how that almost comes off as like a purpley blue pink? So pretty. I'm just gonna flip this brush over and I'm gonna go, I'm going to use Call Me On My Shell Phone, which is this really beautiful, just, it just screams mermaid to me. Whoever wins this giveaway for this palette, you have to be really careful because this, this will do fall out so you have to just either kick off the excess and just be very gentle when patting on the lid or alternatively um you can do a glitter glue but it will stay on it won't fall out throughout the day but just have to be careful okay so taking an even smaller detailer brush i'm going to go into don't be shellfish this is the yellow one i'm just going to pop this right on top of the pink here a little it almost comes up as like green. It's like a greenish yellow. For my lips, I'm going to use Pink Sands. This is from Tarte. This was part of their little Rainforest of the Sea collection. I love that it has a little turtle on it, but it'll be like a nice nude pink to wear. I'm going to be using a mascara that I've been loving lately. This is the e.l.f. Lash Out Loud Volumizing Mascara. Before, I actually wasn't too crazy about e.l.f. mascaras until I tried this one and it's a really good one. So I think that is it. This is the final look. Thank you all again so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. Just really chill getting ready for the day. I definitely feel like a mermaid even though it's kind of fall vibes. I'm all over the place. But if you want to enter the giveaway, remember to follow the instructions that I gave at the beginning of the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment below if you enjoyed. And until next time, remember to stay compassionate and chic.